Welcome to House Podcaster. Uh, my name is Joel Henderson. With me, as always, Jeremy Vasidis. What's going on? Also, Joseph Alex Angelov. Hi, I'm Big Al. You might know me as Big Al. Okay, see, he knew it was coming that time. We I had did. To start I was over. prepared. Um, we are here. You should have thrown him Big Al then, like, because then he would have just right? been like, "Oh, yeah, you know me as Big Al." Shit. Well, I'd like to just jump right into it. I think the title was insignificant because it didn't really have any bearing on the episode. <laughs> but wait a minute, what was the title? Two helicopters, two helicopters in a plane. Two boats Fuck. in a helicopter. Damn, two boats I knew it. As soon as you asked me, I was like, "Blue." <laughs> I don't gonna, know why. I think it blue. <laughs> we're gonna ask him every time now. Something, some random piece of information that he should have about the episode, but doesn't. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I feel like this was, like, the Priest Guys episode. Yeah, Kinda it was... like, you know, it was, like, the Sawyer episode. I was like, going to say Sawyer. Of all the names you could have said for the thing... I don't remember Jeremy the Jeremy and priest. I had a very uh, kismet moment the other day where we First both... First of all, I don't know what that is. Okay, I'm just saying. I was going to describe it. We both woke up, put on the same shirt, and thought, the other one of us has this shirt. They're definitely going to wear it today. And then we both did, and ended up at a party together, and somebody else came up with the same shirt, and it's from a loot crate. It's not even like one you could just go buy. It's not like we were wearing a white t-shirt. That we all bought at Walmart, right? Yeah, it was we a very all specific had the same t-shirt. Shirt, it's the, like a Transformer... DeLorean. Uh, DeLorean. Yeah. Who was from, the third person in the pick? Olivia. Yeah. Yeah, Optimus. Uh, I mean, just I mean, hilarious, ridiculous. Dude. Like that. Yeah, with no communication between the three of us whatsoever. No. Like yeah. Well, so yeah. So I don't this... remember the priest though. <laughs> like the he wasn't that significant to me. I don't. You know what I like? The I priest thought it was... was the guy. Well, you didn't listen to our episodes. The priest uh, is the one who's passing out those flyers, trying to out everybody. Well, I as got bad that. people. Yeah. You know, so he had been doing that previously. He was inciting shit at that at that uh, heroes day. Oh, the, when they co- when called? they fought the last episode. Yeah, where he, they that got... was oh, that was All nearly right. him, wasn't it? I can't remember exactly, but wasn't he the one that kind of egged that on by being there and being a douche about all that shit? No, no, no. Well, the uh, no, they well, knew. I mean, they knew. It seemed like uh, he was over Garvey there. They were kind of just coming, rushing man. him off, man. Like yeah. everybody kind of seems like he's been doing this for a while, and people kind of just take his shit. Like, yeah, you're doing. Like she gave him. She looked at him like in the episode. You're doing great work. Yeah. You know, like fuck off, buddy. Yeah. Like people like get the, what he's doing, you know, and they don't care anymore. Yeah. But then the guilty remnants would set that whole thing off by coming up with their signs. And oh, all okay, that. yeah. But I feel like he had them on Damn, edge. That's what they're called. I keep well, forgetting yeah, I think, what they're I called. I think he does because he's fucking up there that's showing off. That, the, I think that's kind of what they were trying to iterate this episode. Yeah. The yeah. one that we just watched it was that like. You know, because it started off and he didn't have any scars on his face. Correct. Yeah. And so we get to see why no, he happens. took a beating. Man. So we hear. So <laughs> so we start off the episode and we hear the preacher telling a story of a little boy and we see him putting he Girl. is always with you on the church sign. Alex, I have the notes. Wasn't it Emily? Can you was just the please name? be quiet and let me get to that point, please? Oh, let him yeah. go. Let him go. Any question you ever have like that, like is that factually accurate? It's going to be accurate because I sat there and took meticulous <laughs> notes. So don't even ask. Fair enough. F- I'm right. just saving you that the embarrassment of going. No. Yeah. It was, I'm getting to Emily. Trust okay. me. Yeah, he got me a bunch of times in the Game of Thrones. It yeah. always feels like when you say these two characters, am I jumping right to you? Go, you go to like the climax of their story, or you know, some big beats, yeah. and it, it feels like they all happen at the same time in your head. You sort it differently than the way it's aired in the show, and you think, oh, well, they met, so that means blah blah happened. Remember? Yeah. And but, no, wait. Okay, no, that didn't happen yet. Right? Yeah. Okay. It always it always ends up building up to that. So yeah. So save it, Bingo. So that it didn't happen. Yet. No. Okay. So the preacher's telling the story of a little boy, and we see him putting, he is always with you on the church sign. And uh, he said he's a good kid, and he finds out when he's 10 that he's going to have a sister. And he loves her, but she's stealing his attention from the parents. And he prays for the attention back. And two, uh, a month later, he gets leukemia. And he survives. Uh, we see two of the guilty remnants outside the church. And the kid struggles with what it all means. You know, like, why why was I able to pray to get more attention than I got sick? Just all that shit. He's trying to... Fi- the kid's trying to figure that out. And the preacher... Was he, was he blessed or was he... Uh, yeah, was he cursed, uh, right. so to speak. Was it punishment or... or there you go. Or that was, was the his word. prayers answered, right. Uh, the preacher, without pause, starts telling the story of a little girl. And she's eight weeks... Or she's eight, and a week ago... She was playing in the in the park on the swings. I, uh, that really made me think of the uh, how do you make or uh, why couldn't the girl play on the swing set? She had no arms. I don't know why that makes me think of that joke. Or why did the girl fall off the swing? She had no arms. Um, 
so this that was way better that time. Yeah, this girl, this girl is eight, and uh, it says a week ago she was playing in the park on the swings, and she's in a coma for nine days now. Uh, so what, she fell off the swing set. Is that what we're? Yeah, to right up at the thing? top. They were. He was talking about like that that weightless moment. Yeah, where which is kind of cool. You know, that was always fun as a kid, where you're like, oh shit, mm. am I gonna fall? Is this gonna be? Right. Okay, I'm good. You yeah. know, and then you hit the hit the glide so again. So we're guessing that she fell. She must have fallen off that, and we find out the girl's name is Emily. Uh, the little boy is asking for attention again now, but for Emily. Uh, so it finally came together. I'm like, would you fucking get to the point of why you're talking about these two stupid kids? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's, uh, yeah, the kid's asking for attention again now, but this time for somebody else. So uh, they pray, and in walks an angry man. He beats the shit out of the preacher, and he shows him a piece of paper with presumably a loved one on it and, that said she sold drugs. Well, I thought it was interesting that there was nobody in the congregation. Exactly. There's when the they pan back, dwindling. there's like six people in there. I didn't that, put that man. together right away. When I saw that few people, I thought it was like a service for somebody or something very specific to where only those people showed up. But the way they, in they retrospect, pan, the way yeah. they were all scattered, is telling of the fact that even they're not close. Even the people that are in that building right then, as tiny a group as that is, can't get their shit together. And right. All well, be I mean, group. like, I think with the whole event and everything like that, like, everybody's lost faith. Like, well, any faith that there was, like, yeah. anybody, like, the people don't believe in this shit anymore. It people seems like the people, they were just, like, shook. But when the guy came in to whoop his ass, they didn't, like, nothing changed. Weren't they? They were like all the, like stone faced. Still, nobody. Man, you know what I mean? Like, like the one little old man, like the front row. Like as soon as the guy beat the, beat him up, like he turned around and walked out, and the guy looked at him, and like he walked past him. <laughs> and one little old man like took one step in the middle of the thing, like in the like before yeah. the screen changed. You know, like like he was gonna go after him. You know? yeah. yeah, but so nobody's nobody's got convictions really that much. Any, it doesn't seem like you know nobody's willing to stand for what they believe in. And or, how long has it been exactly know, since they three were, years? Three years. Yeah. So this yeah, is I think it's people, not yeah, people fresh, are fresh, but. Dude, that's yeah. still fresh. fresh. Still, not, people like, are still yeah. struggling with how to deal with yeah. it. Think about, but it's think not about like it, it happened yesterday. Fresh. Think about it as like your grandpa. Yeah. That time already, how much has passed way oh, more yeah. than that, and it's still probably fresh in there somehow. Well, it, but it's not but fresh. It's, it's not, not gone. like it was. But, but no, it's, it's not never gone. gone. But exactly. the whole thing is, is you know what happened to your grandpa. Yeah. yeah. He didn't just fucking disappear. Good no, point. That's true, man. I didn't that's even true. consider that. So yeah. you didn't like you don't know you knew you, your, your grandpa passed away. I'm you have finality. You have closure. All my grandparents. He dis well, no man. He disappeared out of nursing home. Somebody stole him. One that's night. what I'm saying. Like seriously. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, no. Yeah. Happen. People die, bro. Oh, I understand. Right. You yeah, understand yeah, mortality. Yeah. You have that's that's closure in your mind. You know what happened. Oh yeah. You know with these with these people, their their loved ones just. Yeah. No, it is. It's gone. Are, are they coming back? What, what, what happened? Nobody knows what happened. Yeah. And it's That's the weird how he's about piecing it, what these bad people, what these people, the bad things they did. Because to me, you can't, like, if it's if it's an act of God, God wouldn't take all these horrible people to an but that's area what, that's to mingle his, with these innocent little kids and that's stuff. Become, that's become yeah. his, his whole mission is to prove that. He feels like that by proving that these people are bad, then it proves that it couldn't be the... The, the rapture. Or yeah, the rapture God, or whatever right. you want to call it. So anyways, the angry man balls up the uh, paper and shoves it in the preacher's mouth and leaves. And then we go to the opening credits, which I liked much more this time. Me too. Around. I was expecting The Wire. I'm not going to lie. I really, was. I really was. I really was the wire expecting. Song. I was expecting like when you walk through the garden. I that was would like, have been awesome. Yeah, and then it, it so just it took me a on. second, but yeah. The the wire each season has a different version of the same theme song. They change the yeah. artist that does the music. I, I have to watch it. It's, I, it's good. But it's right more exciting the, than fucking Boardwalk Empire. It's, I don't know, man. I, I saw I, like I saw Boardwalk a preview Empire for Boardwalk Empire today, and it made me think, wow, I've never seen an episode. It's finishing. Yeah. I might check it out. Man. Watch it as a complete yeah. thing. Maybe it'll be more interesting. There's then. like five yeah. seasons. Yeah. Like Seven, I thought I Now, five is the final season. HBO, huh? And yeah. this is, okay, so when now we're at the opening. I really, it, you knew from the kind of from the get-go that this was going to be preacher centric I didn't know that right away. I didn't catch that. I uh, didn't think that that was going to be. But now, in retrospect, looking back at the net, last episode, last episode was Kevin Garvey's episode. Yeah. yeah. And, and then this episode, so I think we come we back and then there's same Garvey. kind of format. Yeah, and if the first episode was just kind of the same, like just jump around to everybody. Yeah, but the, yeah, well, and, yeah. In the second episode, there was no. Uh, we'll get to that thing. Anyways, we're at the hospital, and it's not a concussion. And Amber Johnson worked at a pharmacy, but stole all the good shit and sold it to the college students. And Amber poofed, as somebody put it. I thought that was pretty. Yeah, good. I, I, yeah, that's a good. That's, re wasn't it a security to... guard or somebody there that was talking to? Who the hell was he talking to? Another doctor. 
Well, it was a cop, wasn't it? I, I can't remember. He was talking to somebody. Sorry, bad detail. Shouldn't even mention. I that. didn't know who that guy was. The before old fat Garvey, guy that was talking. That was a detective. Garvey walked in and that said, was I, a detective because Garvey relieved him. Yeah, he goes, like, yeah, this. he goes, he goes, you know, press charges. And the priest is like, well, and what's the priest's name? I'm sorry. Matt. Matt. Matt's like, no, huh? And he's like, okay, see, he's not pressing charges. Go. So he must have been another cop. Yeah, he was a detective probably Lower that was level. on the scene. Yeah. Yeah, but why would he be playing clothes like that? Because that's I what don't detectives know that he was. I feel like. like he had something. It's, uh, it's, he had a star or something yes. on his collar, man. There was something. Yeah. Uh, it looked like he was just in like a plain like yeah. clothes, like because yeah. Garvey. Like he was a reporter or something like that, or I don't know. Go well, uh, Garvey shows up and tells him to stop pissing people off, and he <laughs> says they need to hear the truth. Your dad understood that, a- and uh, he says, "Well, look where that got him," and he invites him for dinner and says, "You know, why don't we try to do like old times?" You know. Uh, so apparently they used to be friends, or at least he used to come over for dinner, the preacher. Or friends point. with his father. Yeah, friends least. with the dad is what I meant. Uh, and the preacher says nights are tough for him. And uh, see you next time, chief. <laughs> and uh, that's just fun to say every time. Somebody chief. called me guy when they were holding the door open for me awesome. at the gas station. Were you just excited? Well, I was kind of like it, my first instinct was don't who, say that. Who the, who the hell is Zach to quick call prediction? Me guy? He's not a priest. Yeah, I'm not thinking so either. I, I'm thinking he definitely wasn't, and they gave clues in this episode towards that. That he wasn't. He never yeah, said. Don't oh. just. He never wore the collar. No. Uh, he never wore the collar. It's he, weird they say He put it, on the robes that, when he baptized the kid, yeah. but, like, he. I mean, I don't think he. I don't actually think he's a priest. And well, Joel can baptize somebody. Yeah. Can you baptize somebody? I don't know. We'll get. We'll figure it out. Maybe. I don't think we'll so. do that live on the next week's show on the podcast. Justice of peace. Or this week. Well, uh, we're going to baptize somebody. Then. Yeah. <laughs> so the the preacher is resigning himself to the fact that this is going to keep happening, or or, the, or that was the cop, to, or that was Garvey. I can't remember. I just wrote that down. Yeah, but they knew he's just going to keep getting beat up. Yeah, he because he's not going to stop. And he, <laughs> the preacher gets in the ele- in an elevator with a clown, and his phone rings from the bank, and uh, the I clown ass- was looking at him. Yeah, yeah, I assume that was going to go immediately into the. I mean, it basically did. It went into the same area I was thinking. Like obviously, he owes money. Yeah, but it was like... I didn't expect it to go the way that it all played out, but it, I thought, oh, okay, obviously the church is destitute. I didn't put together for a long time that there was nobody going, and that's why it was so... Yeah, sad. man, was, that's, that what, that's why that I first... didn't connect that. That Ooh. first dramatic pan away in the cold open, man, it, it, sets, it really sets the tone for how alone and desperate this guy is, and then people yeah. are just kicking his ass, and... You and know, the fact that the bank would repossess a church. Yeah. Well, they already so had. And they had yeah. Well, right, and they told him he could yeah. stay because until somebody sell, until somebody. Well, they was were interested. jumping ahead because that's actually. Yeah. Well, right. anyways, uh, he, uh, the phone rings. He denies the call. Whatever. He asks what happened to Emily, and she woke up and asked for a sprite. And the preacher gets all proud and says, "My congregation." Ah, we prayed for her. The way that face was hilarious. He was hilarious. so excited. Oh, my congregation, well, we prayed for her. And the guy says, well, she woke up last night. And that made me actually laugh out loud. That yeah, because the guy's good. like, because yeah. he was really like, well, she woke up last I, night. I, like, I, like, so... I sigh out like, oh. Yeah. yeah. You know, oh. <laughs> that, burn. That's what I want. I wanted to text you, burn, man. But so see, bad. I think that that whole even interaction was a clue to the public's overall belief systems yeah. failing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I do like, dig that. I do dig that it's you think that, the majority you think the, are atheists. That 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 guy knew, well, I think that that's probably, I think that was, was, was kind of meant to show that. This, the, 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 the orderly dude was just like, yeah, dude, whatever. Okay, uh, he, she woke up last night. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I she, love that so, dismissal of it. Your praying didn't mean shit. But it's basically <laughs> like he wanted to do a little dance. Yeah. yeah. You know, your praying didn't mean shit, buddy. Fuck off. Well, um, his smile disappears after that. And yeah, it was pretty, it's pretty sad. And pretty we go sad. to some guilty remnants outside the church. And this is when I figured out his name was Matt because they said it a bunch of times. So I wrote down Preacher Matt. Avoids another call from the bank, FDR Bank. And he's cleaning the church and doing some maintenance. Someone knocks and asks if they're open. He brings in a baby and apologizes for not attending regularly and asks how long it takes to do a baptism. He perform said baptism but you get the vibe that this guy's like hiding something from his wife like she wouldn't want him to be there with the kid and stuff yeah so he offers to donate it and he says no just invite your wife for service and he says yeah that's not gonna happen so there's some there's something with her she's one of the people that doesn't believe anymore 
Well, but I don't. I mean, you think we're gonna get any more on that? I, I don't know. I don't, well, I don't think so. I, I, I doubt it. Maybe Unless like that a character side comes character up, pops up here. And what like, do you mean about the, the that guy's wife and why yeah, she was? Yeah. We might get why she was. But it's gonna be more like of a Bernard and Rose where it doesn't sort of really thing, matter. Like a side yeah. thing, I like, can't. Yeah. Oh, that's what happened to them. Well, you yeah, know? and then the guy starts telling him about a guy he knew who went to Atlantic City every two weeks and gambled away his paycheck and then his kid's college money and said he went on the the 14th, Andrew Suzuki. And uh, then we see Matt at the casino inquiring about Suzuki. Like, that escalated quickly, just all of a sudden. Wow, he's, he's, he's already there. hunting him down. Right? Yeah. yeah, he goes straight there. So he asked the manager... Uh, Wait, uh, uh, what? Yeah, we're in New York, right? Atlantic City. No, no where does this I'm take place at? It's, it's, yeah, uh, the, what town is this? Oh, what dude, city? you're putting me on the spot. For some reason, that information has never been so it, in my face. It's that NPD. I, uh, I don't uh, know. It's like Rhode Island or Somebody Delaware. Mapleton or talking. Mapleton, New York. I don't know. It's yeah. Mapleton. I think it's Mapleton, okay. New York. And well, that's, so that would be close to Atlantic City. Okay. I'm, uh, I was just trying to get oh, a, trying to figure out a like, geographical location. How quickly he could he be well there, if you're you know? if you're from if you're from Indiana then you would say it's a certain number of hours as opposed to a certain number of miles. All right, Jeff Fox, really. So, anyways, uh, he, asked, he asked if the, the other manager other lost anyone close to him, and he said his niece was nine. And he shows him an article about a guy who abducted a little girl, fucked her, and strangled her. I know, like the worst guy in the and history of America. He, he disappeared on the fourteenth, uh, and he's on the same list as as the innocent. And if we can't if we can't distinguish the di- yeah, yeah if we can't distinguish the difference, the suffering is meaningless. He says, and the guy says, "I see where your fa- I see why your face is all fucked up." <laughs> right. <laughs> just getting his ass beat for saying what he's thinking. But it, I think the guy was, like, with him on that. I think the guy was going, I don't disagree with you, dude, but I see yeah. why you get your ass beat. I, no, I got I, it. I, I, I knew the guy wasn't going to What's fucking... that? The, fu- uh, the, the title. Go on. The birds on the uh, roulette table. Two boats and a helicopter. Two boats. Man. You're, getting there. Hold close. on. We're getting there. Sorry. I thought bad. it was boats or birds. I, I don't boats. know why I, that just clicked in my head because the way he looked, because that's the next scene is he looks down at the roulette table, right? And there's like a blue halo light shining on it. Well, yeah, we see um, we I see a guy that. freaking out about some birds on his gambling table and Matt stares weirdly at the guy running the table and the birds fly off. I just knew something was weird about that, that they were going to come back to that. That's what I mean, but like, all right, that's what so I thought. So he's making a flyer about the gambler guy and he goes to his car and the guilty remnants are there and he gives them a box of clothes and tells them to let Patty know that they're wasting their time. He's going to keep doing his thing, basically. And the phone rings from the bank again, and he fucking fumbles and accidentally answers it. And then they ask him to come to the bank. Uh, answers it with the sink thing in his car, which was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah he didn't even right. do it on purpose. Yeah. No, just, I was just answering. <coughs> just oh, fumbling. Hey, Joe, Joe, how you doing? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> it's Jim, oh, yeah. isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, Joe, oh, my phone's been acting yeah, weird. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. As in you don't answer when I call? Yeah, that's weird, too. So there's been an offer on the church. Goes to voicemail when I call you. Yeah. All right. He we cut to uh, Matt at the church, and there's been an offer on the church, and he's been trying to tell him for the past two weeks, and he asks who's buying it, and he answers the phone nervously, and it's Mary, and he doesn't want to talk about her, or no, maybe it wasn't Mary, but he it assumes was the, the call was about it. her. Yeah. Whether it was the the maid or yeah, not. It couldn't be Mary. Yeah, well, we found out later. <laughs> that we found out later. There's something about Mary. She's something about Mary. Uh, we found out later that it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. Go ahead. Well, I mean, like whatever. Yeah. So uh, it's Mary. He doesn't want to talk to about her. Uh, talk about her, and he asks how he can save the church. And he says, "Look, if you match us, match the offer go above it by one dollar, it's yours." And he says they're offering 135 thousand, and he has until tomorrow, end of day. So Matt goes to visit Nora. And she gives him the world's greatest dad mug that obviously belonged to her husband, and he asked Nora for the money. I, I thought that was pretty ballsy. I assumed at this point that they were relatives. Well, I know we find he, out later, but uh, they were either. Yeah. I think they're brother and sister. They are. They're brother and sister. No, it, he said, was, "Mom, yeah, Dad left us at church. Both of us. Yeah, they're they're brother and sister. Brother. See, that's what I thought. But then later, he was like." 70 still and holding her hand as that a baby. Was a, his life was flashing before his eyes, bro. That's what all that was. I saw. I remember the that different was during parts, when he was dreaming. Yeah. But I feel like, like that he was, was all out of whack. Everything he was the was same age in every single one what, of those. Yeah. What I took that to mean was that he met her when she was young and he was already an adult. So that's no, what I took to mean out of that. So maybe I just misread that thing. But anyways, yeah. so I assume they weren't related at the end, but uh, they probably still are. Yeah. Um, he asked her for the money and he thinks people are coming back. 
What? I was going to say, he, I don't think he... he no, no, no. Oh, he thinks people are coming back to the church. Sorry, I read that with the wrong cadence. I was going to say, whoa. <laughs> he thinks that people are starting to come back to the church. They're starting to come back to the I idea of religion. I just did a baptism and blah, blah, yeah. blah. He asks if she, uh, if she doesn't have the money and uh, the benefit money, and she gets choked up saying it was for her husband and, and children, and he apologizes. He didn't know where else to go, and she asks if he will stop making his paper, and she'll give him the money. And he says people need to hear the truth, and she alludes to him taking up the cause of outing people after an accident and it was supposed to stop there she says he acts like he was chosen by god and he cuts her off saying if she doesn't Don't believe she doesn't yeah. get to talk about him and then what do you believe in matt do you know where my family went do you know what it was and he says it was a test what a fucking douchey thing to say well it's so cliched i mean and come on dude try she Let's made him a, she made him a reasonable offer stop i can't believe the, she didn't slug him i thought she was gonna knock him the fuck out stop doing the newspaper stop doing the newspaper and tell your message in church yeah that's a reasonable offer you should have accepted that I mean, the, what does the flyers do? But the nobody flyers else is coming to church. But maybe they would go then, man. Who knows? Um, let's see. We are at... Well, I think him being a weirdo like this is part of the reason that people aren't coming That's to church. That's what I'm saying. If he stopped doing anymore. the flyers, they might go. No, but that, the, 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 the lack of belief and then that caked on top of it isn't helping. Him being a no, fucking freak. You know what I'm saying? Like... This dude's like waving. Fuck anybody who stands like this. Hey, hey! Nobody wants to fucking listen to that guy. Yeah, he's you know what I'm saying? I don't give a shit what you got in your hand unless it's fucking money. Me thinks Nobody's thou doth protest like, too much. Oh, it's like yeah. you're instantly skeptical of that person. Would you say? Like, yeah, Me thinks thou doth protest too much. <laughs> uh, you know, I think that people look at people that are just adamantly screaming for off of a soapbox and going, "Ah, he's in it." Right. Knows. Just be calm about it and be like, "Hey, just wanted to let you know." You know. Yeah. What do you think about all this stuff? You, I mean, you don't even be smooth kind of, about what, it, Jesus. You see, that's what he's doing. Have though. some the opposite of that. Is, see? See? Ooh. He wasn't good. It's because he feels no. the religious need to prove something. Well, to prove that prove it, it wasn't and, religious and, uh, is yeah. what he's trying to prove. He's like, right. it was not yeah. us. Not us. Yeah. Anyways, if it was a test, she thinks he's failing. Doesn't that in turn disprove your beliefs? If they no. said that it was. No, anyway, yeah. no. no. So That's she says she loves discussion. him, but what he's doing right. isn't working anymore, and maybe it's time to let it go. And I put, man, I wish that were the prevailing thought in the real world. But it's just time to let that stuff go. Uh, Matt oh, tells man. her that her husband was having an affair with his still be kid's bombing preschool the Middle East, teacher. If that were the case. Yeah. <laughs> he dropped that bomb. I can't believe he didn't tell her that sooner, man. I know. He tells her that he found out right that her husband it, was yeah. having an affair with the kid's preschool teacher. And Three usually, years later, out of the fucking blue. That's what I was going to say. That's a low blow to tell her like that, man. And then, yeah, what did he think he was going to gain from that? Do you think she was going to write him a check <laughs> yeah, right? that? Like, oh, yeah, here you go. Thanks for telling me my husband was doing it. Yeah. I mean, he basically told her how they did it. Went to a plaza in the city a couple times, and he was smart. He used cash and... That shows that he does his research, yeah, though, doesn't it? Yeah, he had the it? ATM receipts Doesn't that show that, like, all the stuff he says about all these bad people is completely accurate? It's not like he's making this stuff up. Nora does no, some crazy laugh No, I think he's doing the investigating. The I really think he is. Yeah. She does a crazy laugh, and that's uh, then we cut to him at the grocery store. Yeah, a little psycho laugh. Everybody's a little off yeah. in this world. It's just like, eh. Um, well, their family, you know especially because you come to find out later, she asked him, she goes... Or that was later. It was it we'll was see. yeah. It was Anyways, later he buys bleach, and we see his maid watching a commercial for loved ones, where they take a picture of your departed and make a corpse replica to be buried. Wow. That, what I did not. That catch was the that. commercial on TV. It was for loved ones. Yeah. And you give it said even from just one picture, we can replicate your loved ones so that they can be buried or cremated or whatever. Get the fuck. That's fucking out crazy. Of here. Imagine somebody getting like a stuffed one. You know what I mean? Imagine that. You I don't bet want to you be stuffed on a mantle point. after you go. You don't Somebody's want Somebody's going to be crazy in this world and have their family remade from this shit. That's the only reason to even show that commercial and have it be on long enough that I could decipher all of that. Yeah, but they're going to have it like sitting up at the fucking table exactly. eating dinner with it and shit. That's oh what I'm saying. God, That's going to happen. You watch catch it. That, crazy conspiracy theory right here. Wow. <laughs> That's happening. You don't want Angelina to that stuff you and put that, you in the bro, living room. That's weird. I was just like, holy shit, that's crazy. Creepy. Well, anyways, the, the maid then asked for money. I thought but, it was his wife at I first. I mean, look at... And I was like, what a bitch. Leave it to somebody <laughs> to turn tragedy 
into profit. That's profit. the way yeah. the world works. That's the way the world yeah, works. Yeah, man. Well, she asks him for money, and he gives her right. some cash. And well, was like, uh, didn't it look like he gave her dude, like they started, forty bucks? They started <laughs> maybe. They started <laughs> printing the Remember 9-11 shirts like three oh, minutes mean, after the plane. We can't the talk about right? 9-11. We can't. Not on this. Why? One. It's it was just over ten years ago. Yeah. Oh no, I just don't want to yeah, get into it. Yeah, statute of limitations, Big L. I don't want to get it. I just don't want to get off on 9-11. I was just saying. Spoiler alert: Stuff happened on 9-11. <laughs> um, she says uh, that she needs her bath and leaves, and his wife is comatose, and he picks her up and gives her a bath, puts her to bed, then cries and says, help me to the painting. Then he stares at it, and he calls the maid. He's leaving, and when he gets back, he's going to pay, pay her all he owes her. And he's driving, he's driving his car and goes with a shovel to a house. And Lori is on the swing set in the backyard. I think we it's find the out Gar- it's Kevin's. It was yeah, Garvey's house. Yeah. You could tell I got that right away. Because of the truck. Um, he tells her I didn't Kevin's even see the dad truck. left yeah. something there like, for him. Because she, 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 held, she held up that note that said, don't tell anybody I was here. Don't yeah. tell them I was here. Like, yeah. I imagine she she's was going and she's swing. sitting in the backyard. Yeah, yeah that was literally the about next, her family. next thing. Yeah. So he then moves the grill and digs, and he pulls out a jar of Jif with money in it. And there is a paper that says, this judge took bribes. On the back it says, Rev, you deserve this, KG. So obviously KG is the dad. Yeah, and that's their. They had a much closer relationship than anybody does with the Kevin we know, the KG we are aware of. Uh, we're driving, and is the his light. dad's name Kevin too? By chance, what's his it's dad's gonna name? It's going to have to be. You think? Or Keith? Or say, I mean, yeah. I'm assuming it's just Kevin, and they're both. He's and like they just a junior. Put KG to kind of make. He's you like think the it's me I didn't to my catch dad. The, I didn't catch the. It yeah. just said KG as the initials. Yeah, um, that's all. Driving, and the light changes weirdly. Like it just, it was red on the side too, and then it went to red there, so he had to stop. And there were birds on the, the light. The, and the pigeons, the same pigeons yeah. from the roulette table, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the birds, like at the casino, are on the light. He brings all the money to the casino, it's 20 grand. He goes to the pigeon table and he bets it all on red. And the guy, uh, the table guy, motions for a supervisor, and some Indian guy comes over and he's like, The high stakes tables are in the back, and he's like, Nah, just I don't want to use this one, it gotta be this one. And he puts it all on red, and three red wins first time. Then he's got 40 grand. And again, spin 32 red, uh, 80 grand. Or, uh, that's what I meant, 23 yeah. red, 80 grand. But that's when I was that like, guy came And then when up, I said right? that, I was like, that's when the douchebag walked yep, up. Oh, with the fucking no, he walked up right after the first one, didn't he? Yeah, after this, before yeah. he spent oh, the second money. one. And then the fucking bitch puts the chip down, and I was like, dude. I, and that, at the last that point, one, the third I was kind of yeah. sitting there like, oh, my God, he's going to lose this Yeah, money. I thought for a second, dude, when he like, turned and he really looked at her. Lose this money. I thought he was going to nail her, dude. Somebody, I, she I think that somebody like that requires little bits of faith, or little, bits, little miracles like that to confirm their own faith. And, like, I feel like if he had lost it then, like, he needed this. Oh, yeah, otherwise he's jumping oh, off no a bridge, shit. man. Yeah, otherwise, yeah. Right. I don't mean financially. Yeah. I mean Mentally. emotionally. He Same needs thing. this. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. He, needed it, he needed it he's, both. He's, I mean, like I said, if he loses all that money right there, yeah. Why would he still believe he, in he's, anything? He's jumping it's off a, a bridge. It, what's yeah. the guy's name? Jimmy Swagger. It's a wonderful life. Oh, I don't know his name. But anyways, we get uh, once more. Uh, I'm screaming, once more, please. Or, no, he screams, once more, please. And twenty five red and screams. Well, he yelled it or something. Yeah. He was just like once uh, somebody. I did. think he just kind of looked up funny once. I, I, I put it in quotes. Place. I don't know why. Maybe that was me yelling. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, twenty five red. But then the chick, she says she puts the thing down. And says mm-hmm. jinx, don't jinx. He said don't jinx him. You bet with him. Yeah. yeah. You know, because the dude was kind of an asshole. I knew as soon as that douchebag walked up. That yeah, something was, was like, going to happen. As soon as he came to the car, I was like, this man. asshole. Yeah. Not even came to the car. I was like, this asshole's bad Wait news. Wait a minute. So, Matt cashes out. Something bad is going to happen. <laughs> Dude, he, uh, he's I write walking that. in the parking lot. and <laughs> He gets in the car and breathes a sigh of relief. Oh, and the no, guy... Who, the whole... The whole the, you, you skipped over what I was going to say. Like, where he's... The, the part where he's walking through the parking lot to the car. Oh, There okay. was, like, a brief thing. I'm like, Dude... Just fucking run. Yeah, that's when I was writing something fucking, bad is going to happen. Get your asshole ass <laughs> in the car and lock the fucking door. And go. Yeah. The dude. Oh, yeah. Go on. Uh, the guy co- who came up to the table knocks on the window and asks him for a few <clears throat> bucks for gas, and he offers him 200 My thoughts are you didn't lock the door. Yeah, right? Yeah, like, I door. mean, I'm like, this dude didn't lock his fucking door. It down? How and then, he but he was smart, though, off? and he only rolled the window down a little yeah. bit. He gave him that the thing car was you do if you piss you off. He started the car. He had the window rolled down just a little bit. Yeah. How do you, how do you not lock the door when the dude yeah. walks up? You just put that giant stack of money I'm, like, in your passenger seat. Yeah, but yeah, guy, what do you need? Okay, you yeah, believe thanks. in God and you believe in the good. Yeah. Somebody's above yeah. you. You peel out right fucking. I'm gone. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, uh, 
uh, the, he knocks and asks for a few bucks. He get, offers him 200 and says, you know what, why don't you keep that and I'll take the envelope. And this is the we're going to have to take the boy moment for me. We're going to have to take the boy. I lost. Well, like I, that I'll was one of what. those where it was just like, oh shit, because he was all when everything was cool. You know, he was being pleasant about it. Even when he said, "Nah, why don't you keep that? I'll take the other one." It was all like everything was cool, but I know the things he was saying were bad. But then, like the tone changed. That's what right. I mean by that. It was well, the, we're gonna have to take the boy moment. See now, and I, I didn't think like that because mine was like when he didn't pull out a weapon, mm-hmm. the other dude like didn't pull out like a gun or a knife and was like, "I'll fucking kill you." You know, yeah. if you don't give me that, he just beat him up because he knew he's the, the dude had scars on his face like he'd already had his ass kicked a bunch of times yeah. so you know what I'm saying he was like I just just it beat his ass it was a spur ass, of you know? the moment thing there's no the way that guy planned about, it right yeah, you right. know what I mean Cause like, you, well because yeah. of course you're not going to plan on somebody winning that kind of money no, at a roulette uh, table man, that's you know what I'm saying he, he followed him out there he's he like, like I'm going to kick his ass get on bitch let's go right I was like he's not getting away with his money yeah I was, well, hey. Matt smashes the fucking guy's face into the concrete. Now, see, now was back. that guy dead? I don't know, man. They lead you to believe he's dead. I feel like See, he, now, isn't he going to be wanted for fucking murder? Well, no. And it's funny you say there that will be, because... Here's why. There will be security footage of a, of a casino parking lot. You're not going to tell me every casino parking lot isn't filmed just yeah, in case right. somebody makes out with something that they shouldn't. I guarantee you I every casino I can't believe he didn't get escorted that. out. I mean, in real life, you won that much money at a casino, you're getting a private escort to your car. But see, now he's got like 160 grand. Yeah. He? Yes, he's well, got 160 Well, it's interesting grand that after he fought him, they, they made it a point to show the blood on the envelope. Well, we get to that. He still times. hasn't even got... Yeah, he got he got back in the car. That's that guy's blood, though. And yeah, that's screamed. what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. The bitch is screaming in the background. Uh, and it goes back to Kevin's oh, house, no. and he puts the money back. And there was some weird-ass music playing. It was, like, too happy-go-lucky. You know, the music while he was putting that in, it was like something off of Breaking Bad where, he, you know, Walt, they're doing like a meth cook or something. It was all like, do, 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 as he's putting the fucking money oh, back in right. the right. Yeah, some weird song, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, the, the swing, swing is, yeah, the swing is moving, and he takes the, down the street signs that say Judge Roy Hader Drive. And he's on a roll at this point. He's on yeah. like a roller coaster high. This is, then it's morning, and we see the envelope on his passenger seat, and it's smeared with blood, and it's literally blood money at this point. I feel like I feel I like that's that 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 I, I think I even Boo. literally might have said out loud to myself, "Blood, blood money. money." Yep. You know, but they uh, kept making it a point to show it over and over they, and over they, again. Well, that was the first time you saw it, but that was the first time you hadn't yeah. seen it otherwise. Uh, he just put it in the seat in the dark and drove off or whatever, and he screamed when he got in the car, but. Anyways, a Jeep drives past him, and they throw something at the GRs walking, and he Matt gets out to help, and they throw a rock. Uh, oh, they threw a rock, is what I saw sitting on the ground, and then uh, he calls 911, and the Jeep backs up really fucking fast, and hits him in the fucking face with a huge rock. Dude. I mean, it was the like ca- a boulder. The camera <laughs> angle of that rock hitting him in the face. I was, oh! Yeah, just... Oh, just, I didn't mean to bust out the mic Just like cuts that, to black. Yeah, well, because you kind of figured the kids were going to come back, but you didn't think they were going to really just come back in. How did that... Somehow that made the Bee Gees play. What, me yelling? Yeah. I don't know how, but that made the that voice activate the Bee Gees. That made the Bee Jesus play event. Bee Jesus, that's uh, my version of it. That's even worse than the Blood Money. All right, so, (laughs) so anyways, uh, he wakes up in front of of the church with no cuts on his face, and we hear a full choir inside. And this was this was my this was my loss. I liked the one way sign pointing at the church. This is when it started to get. I started to get. I a really think big so too. This, this is where it. I started to get the same because feeling. it's like, like okay, okay, this is his episode. His life is flashing this before is like his, his eyes. Thing, right? So, yeah, yeah, I get it. This is where I started to get like more lost. I got lost feelings from the first episode too. Like, I'm like. The way they somehow the make you care about things, episode, and like, you're like, "What the fuck is happening?" Because there's not really anything happening that's that. It, it, but who was not, the little kid yeah. that walked past him? Was that supposed to be him? Leading that's what it was. Or? Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. It was his life. Like Joel said, he was standing next to the little girl. He wasn't a 45 year old version of himself. He was there, but he was actually in the moment. He was. We're gonna have to the start bumping that old. number up soon. We're getting up there. What do you mean? We're gonna have to start bumping up old from 45 to like 60. I know, right? The running joke is... When we say it. Yeah. We can't go, God, they were old as shit. They were like 40. You know, we're almost 40 (laughs) is my point. We're going to have to bump that up. Did you guys see the one-way sign in front of the church? Like no. in front of this, I, I did a little screen grab of it, but there's just there's a one-way sign pointing right at the door of the church. 
Like it's right in the middle of the shot in front of the church sign. I did see that. There was a one way sign, like this is the only did way you can go. Did he go through the church where the lady was talking and then he started going through the events? Like when he was yeah, playing yeah. it? Okay. It says, he went through the church and then walked through the back and then he was like in a different place. Yeah. Okay, and that's when he so started we going see through the, the dream. We see thing. the guilty remnant lady that's been following him the whole episode is standing outside in blue holding plain pamphlets clothes. about religion. Yeah, yeah, plain clothes, normal <laughs> lady. Right. He asks her if it's too late and she <laughs> says, of course not, all are welcome. And he walks into the full church and shit goes wonky with the video and sound and like you'd hear the sound change and there'd be yeah, like double yeah. vision yeah and, and he was kind of like it was like he was drunk almost and then he follows a little boy backstage you're saying that that was him is yep. that the connection yeah. that was being made there yeah because yeah, it him. got up from yeah it's it appeared like he knew well the he said that they there. mentioned earlier that the church was his father's yeah. The, yeah so yeah you would imagine that he would be a little kid little boy and then they showed him standing his... next to the little girl and she goes like are yeah. they burning in there no he says uh, he follows a little boy backstage and he sees himself and two others talking to a doctor and uh they say i'm sorry matthew but it's spreading and then it cuts to matt and a little girl watching something yeah. burn and the little girl nora asks if they are burning in there and why isn't anyone doing anything? nora yeah that was Nora. Yeah, that was Nora as a girl. And as she's a kid. standing next to him and she's asking her Who's brother. Nora? Nora is his sister. Is the lady that he asked one hundred and thirty five thousand dollars for. Oh uh, that's so, the connection yeah. I was saying there. Like when I did saw that I thought, that, oh, did he's he not say a, Nora? Yeah. She In the said scene? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Somebody said the name Nora to the little girl. Yep. Well uh, no, he told him when when they were talking about the hundred and thirty five thousand dollars, he she said our parents burned that's in a not, fire. No, but that's not what he was saying that when they were standing there I thought he was what his did she age. say in that scene she said our parents burned in a fire they didn't leave you the church they burned in the fire like that was almost the exact quote I think uh, I didn't so write that, anything about that yeah okay. so then all right so I, then I, I, when I, I, she was no, standing there because you could tell it was her brother because the way she responded when he asked her she goes like she are they burning in there and then he's like yeah they're burning in there he didn't say it like an adult he almost sounded like a child when he said it. I'll have to rewatch that part. Yeah. I, that was the moment that I was talking about earlier when I said that's what made me think they weren't brother and sister because it seemed like he knew her from when she was a kid, but he wasn't. So that was just my confusion on yeah. what was going on at that at that moment. I ended the episode thinking, oh, they're not related. He just was like, like he took her after her, his fa her family died. Oh, no. That's what I was yeah. thinking at that moment. But I guess that makes more sense. So, so but he, no, because he was just the same age as them. They, yeah. they, were, he, they were kids when their family died. Yep. Probably. Yes. Yeah. And okay, he was so the same age in all the flashes. Then. Oh, yeah. He's a preacher, it's man. It's possible. Yeah. But uh, if they die when he was younger, then he could have he grown probably up rose and, Yeah, became a preacher. Who knows? Did you guys catch, he says, uh, she asks why nobody's doing, isn't, or why? isn't anybody doing anything and we see firemen leaning against the truck the fire truck with a painting in between them wasn't it's, one of them smoking it's the pouring water painting he was staring at earlier but it's upside down took a screenshot yeah it's absolutely that look it's the bucket of water pouring huh. up on them I can't okay. see it I know you can't see I'll show no, you afterwards right. anyways um so we cut to a car crash that he is witnessing and also a part of. He climbs out of the passenger seat, and finally we return to the fucking disappearing day. Here we go. I was like, oh, because I thought, fucking but, a whole other episode, but, we're not going to do it? But you were thought, I was thinking like we'd get more of like a spread out view of it. No, no, no. It's no. all the same view. Yeah. It's, I, or all the same fucking street. Oh, I want to go before this, before you say what happened in this car accident, I want to go back to it, because we, we, we've already seen what his wife, right? No, this no. is when I found no. out about his wife. Yeah, that's how she... No, we've seen his wife present day. Coma, veggie. We hadn't She's a seen her... We, saw her. we hadn't seen her up to this point? No, no, no she was a veg. we've seen her in the bed because he put her in the bath. Yeah. We saw that before the car. But she was comatose. Yes. Yeah, we Correct. haven't okay. seen her that's like, moving saying. around. Okay, so I thought maybe that she... Got injured in the crash? No, that she was one of the people... Like, she saw somebody just... Oh, no. Oh, it was, she was you know a saying? vegetable like, from saw the car somebody crash. just poop, disappear. Yeah. I don't know we haven't even heard, We haven't heard anybody describe that experience. Yeah. Seeing... Exactly. Like, I was standing watching somebody... Like, standing talking there talking to somebody, and they just... Well, how about Was the, there smoke? Was there a puff? Was there anything? Isn't that what they, the GRs did they, are? Did they disappear from the top how about to the bottom? The, how about from the, the bottom to the top? How all about at the once? Garvey scenario? In and out? I mean, how did that happen? You know? How about the Garvey scenario where he was fucking somebody? Now, is that, them they lead you to sex. believe that, but is that actually what happened? He was having sex with... He was his wife on is him. alive. Yeah, so he was cheating on his wife Why would he have to be cheating on his we, wife? I think it was. I think I don't think... I think that's what... That was that's implied he was cheating on his wife, No, they were trying to throw us off the scent that he had a wife that was alive because in the next couple scenes we find out that she's alive and we've been seeing her yeah. the whole episode that was a total red herring 
He was absolutely fucking his real wife there. No, I believe so. I don't think so. I'm gonna go with he was cheating for five hundred. I'm gonna go with he was cheating. Yeah. Uh, I, I think he was. I think it was his real wife because they were trying to tell us, oh, she is gone and she disappeared. They wanted you thinking, holy fuck, she just disappeared while he was having sex to her. That would have been crazy. Yeah, but didn't the chick he was banging nuts. have brown but hair? That's what I think they were trying to lead you to believe. So that's my yeah. only thought for thinking that she it was and it wasn't what you know where well, they're trying to make it. Right. Well, 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 I mean that's 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 not a fact that's been released. No, yet, not so. at all. But so, soul theory. Uh, yeah, uh, right. but Matt is doing the same thing. Matt is actually having sex in this dream state he is, and it keeps going in between his wife and Nora. Well, not Nora. No, the, we're not there yet. Basically, uh, we return to the day that everybody dis- or the disappearing day, whatever, October fourteenth, and his his was the car that crashed in the background while the right. lady was screaming for her baby. Now, I have two things about this, generally speaking, not about the scene in particular. I've been clamoring to go back to the to the moment, right? right. Since since we started watching. I feel like I want a bigger fucking picture. I feel like that's cheating to just stay on that one goddamn street where you see the same annoying kid in the background and the same lady saying, So I was like, see, but it's going to end up being I wanted a more broader picture of of the event. No, they're going to show you eight eight or nine characters. But no, we just moved a few feet down the fucking street. But that's what I mean. I don't want to see right. the next person be the person that was walking as they saw them crash. I think right? oh, that's, that's what it's going to do, that's man, we're for gonna sure. Go. We're going to see. Well, yep. maybe Kevin, it'll leave up to Kevin Garvey looking out the window of the hotel room where he was cheating on his wife from. Yeah. Garvey's going to make a cameo in every episode. I guarantee it. He'll be <laughs> the one like, character, no matter what, that's in every single episode. Well, well he's the main character. That's what I mean. Like, he, it's going to be him. Well, we think so. That's what they uh, Who knows? It seems like that. Maybe it's an ensemble. Lost was... I mean, Jack became. Yeah, and that's what I think it's going to do. It's going to be an from ensemble. The very beginning, and they're dude. getting it all out of the way right away. Don't say they're that. Come on, Jack was the main stuff. character of Lost from the very yeah, beginning. Yeah, but when you watch it, it became everybody else. It everybody became else. An ensemble. But he was still the main character. Yeah, they even tried to throw you off for a season or two. So, there, anyways, where it wasn't him. he snaps out of it and looks at the car they ran into, and no one is in it. And he's his wife smashed her head into the steering wheel, and he tries to call nine one one, but it's busy. And he's carrying his wife down the street, and as he seems to fall with her, it cuts to him falling on top of her in bed while they are fucking. And she gets on top, and he looks at the painting the same way he did as he was crying earlier. And the wife says, why do you persist? And then changes into Lori. And we hear, why is nobody doing anything from baby Nora again as Matt's hands burst into flames? And he wakes up in the hospital thinking his hands are on fire, and he rushes to get his clothes on, and of course his phone is dead. And he asks what time it is, yells they, at the nurse to call the bank, and he runs to his car, to get, and get and the money is still there, and he arrives late, but they open the door, and he's too late. Oh, shit, and then it was three days ago. Right. So he, he was out for three days. He was like, it's ten minutes. Uh, well, you kind of, I kind of knew when he was running and stuff, I'm like, okay, they're, it's No, it's it, definitely going to be too be, late, yeah. but, but I didn't three think days, it was going to be a couple days later. No, nah, three right. days is a good amount, though, man, because I was like, man, they, I hope they don't do it like he's three months late or well, something Well, I mean, like like if he was all on the same day that he yeah. stopped to help those people, That's like, unrealistic, a whole man. hospital yeah. trip is not like... No. Not, that's you're not going to be in and out of there in a couple hours. In no, that's like, correct. You get hit in the right. face with a boulder. You're right. out the same day. Yeah, right. there's no way. That's why I mean. Um, you could tell the way he was scrambling. Well, so anyways, oh, the, the end is we get were, to... I'm, here's, a, here's, here's a prediction. Here, I'm going to go and add, that's what add to the prediction that we were, that we were just talking about. They were, both, they were cheating on each other. Yep. She was having sex with him, for real. Lori was. Lori was cheating on Kevin with, with, with Matt. Matt. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's not a, he wasn't a real priest. I just I think then, physically. That's, okay, speaking. so she was cheating. He was cheating too. I can I can and think I can think that a, as a female, I don't see why you would want that guy I over mean, Kevin. Really, are you gonna go there? Yeah, I, I'm I gonna mean, say this dude. I think, dude, I think not, that no. this dude's personality I, I, precludes him from nailing Lori. I'm telling after you. the I mean, event this is, though. This is all before the event. Yeah, this is before the event, guy. No, I'm saying and at any point. He no, was, there's no I, way I'm he was not, nailing. Yeah, that's, you're, you're 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 taking an easy route. Yeah, I think I think Jeremy's on something because they're they're both cheating on each other. Yeah, they were. She was having sex with him. That have actually happened to him. We don't know who who Kevin was having sex with, but he was. They were both. They were having sex with somebody else. That's why she's joined the. Guilty remnant. Yep. 
and that's you know why saying? Kevin needs to because all these people have lost their family and all that sleep. shit. They, they, they yeah. lost I mean, we'll their families. They're, just, they're, everybody feels like fucking weird. Oh, you heard it here thing. first, man. I feel like that. I, f- I feel like the he was cheating is too obvious. I That's feel why like, both of them. I feel like that. See, I don't think it was that obvious because, because I agree. Yeah. I agree with you that that I had the same thought when I first saw the very first episode was he was oh wow he was having sex with his wife when yeah. this happened. You know what I'm saying? Like that was I didn't have that same thought until my wife said well he was cheating on his wife. Yeah. It took a woman to say yeah, that, but, but I really I think that, it, that was the yeah. gist of it. After but she watching said the that while watching again, it, yeah, because she, uh, I mean, uh, once she found out that Lori was still alive, or did he? Did she just think that because she we were led to right believe away. Lori was gone? Yeah. No. no, but I'm trying to get where her mental state was. She said there. it. As soon, she said this as soon as they were sitting at the bar, uh-huh. and that chick asked him that, "Where were you at?" And it flashed to him, yeah, going. Yeah. She said oh, he was cheating on his wife. Yeah, we didn't know Lori was his wife at that point. No, she just I, said that. But yeah. so Jenna's probably assuming the wife is gone See, at that point. Like I we thought all were. he felt guilty because but he know, was she cheating wouldn't have been gone at that point when his Correct. wife disappeared. When he went right. Yeah. So I mean, I think what uh, that's what I think yeah. that's, that's where she went. He was that's where her mind went. She was he was cheating on he his wife. He was cheating on his wife, wife, wife when his wife disappeared. Yeah. And then the shocker. That's and what they want you to the believe. The reveal at the end is his wife was alive. Which, but I which think is he was what still I think che- they were doing. I think that's the only reason to throw that in. There. No, no. Laura was banging Matt. As I'm much as a, a, a lost I think I, I think am, you're right. I think we are right. I think we're on to something here, bro. Was banging Matt. I think that when she changed into him or her like that, I think that was part of the because other they were his life was flashing before. And that's and that's why he feels so guilty. It's part of the reason why he feels so guilty with his wife. Being a vegetable now, and he was cheating on her. I don't know, dude. We'll see. Come on, yep. man. It's an HBO series. Everybody's cheating. On yeah, her. right. There you go. <laughs> They're all Boom. That's the other. that's the exception to the rule, right? I just right I just think that she's <laughs> decent enough looking that he's out of. She's not she, in his league. Oh come Who, on, Lori? Yeah, dude. She's no. not that hot. Awesome. She's because she doesn't do anything. His wife. Look at the pre-coma picture. Coma is hot, man. Look at the picture. In, uh, and his wife is nothing now. Yeah, but, but look at her matter. before she was in the coma. She's she was smoking hot. hot in those I mean, pictures. This is, I mean, this no. is all great, she though. Yeah. It's like we'll get to find it. And whoever's it's, right. Yeah. We'll no, get absolutely. To, yeah. It's just a good discussion. It is a good discussion. I, yeah. I like absolutely. the idea of it, but I just think that really they were doing that just for that episode's thing. And I don't think that there's any possibility that Lori would cheat with Matt. See, I just that's don't what I think. Like I think that's the, like what you're saying. Like, that, that does, like here's, here's my that problem with a, the way you're analyzing it. I, you're I, taking a real life situation where she is hotter than he is. Like, I she don't would think never that sleep that with him. That's not and, what I'm saying. What I, that's part of it. But what I'm saying mainly is that her husband is far superior looking. That's than cheating but, on her he with other girls. Yeah, we don't know that. He's the hottest cop in town. That's what they call saying. Her her justification for doing it with Matt, which is probably was probably really good friend of the family or whatever and she or she went to I the priest we could, to talk we could, to him we could be wrong but I think that we're right I yeah. think they were cheating on each let other let me ask you this if if that were the case don't you think he would have seen her pre-guilty remnant look or do you think he's fucking her in the cult because I don't feel like they get to have sex I don't feel no, like that's it would, part he of would have been fucking no, her before, been before she went into that's what I'm event. saying everything else that we saw in these flashes were not re- restricted by time like we saw a young Nora so why did we see a present day Lori Probably she was just wearing the white. She was in her full guilty remnants getup when she was on top of him. Yeah, that's true. So that's my question: is why maybe it was him that? making love to the guilty remnant? Well, no, because that's how he knows her now. I got it. Thank God we went this far with it. He was getting fucked by the guilty remnants, and boom, it's going to be the guilty remnants that bought it. I wrote down, that, and Jim says no one, her, no one here wanted to have it. Did you call that to, before to the end of the episode? I yeah. put, yeah, I put. Oh shit, that was three days ago. It's going to be the guilty remnants that bought it. Yeah. Oh, and then fuck. he puts. I, Jim says that, huh? no one, cool. no one here wanted them to have it, but they paid cash and they took possession yesterday. And he goes, they. So yeah, that was that was. Uh, I tell you what, I gotta be honest with you. I did not. That's why even, at the beginning he, we even said, said they. Yeah. I didn't even catch it till he, he walked around the all corner. He said was it was and an I was like, LLC. oh, that was their plan the whole yeah. time, guy. They weren't following him to recruit they him. They were fucking. Yeah. They were following they him to were make sure they were gonna out get the it. Church, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. But so that was a metaphor for the guilty remnants fucking him. So there you go. I mean, that that's could be what I think that's of Lori. Not bad that's either. my crackpot theory. That's not that bad either. Is. But I'm, I think they were banging because she came to him. Just don't guy. seem compatible, guy. I'm just that's that's the I only mean, thing I'm not, I get. See, I'm just not going to go with that reason. Yeah, that's you can't, can't do that go in with a that fictional reasoning. series, man. I mean, I can't. Go I hit out of my league every time. I. You know I'm, what saying, I mean? like, I'm saying. I'm saying that the only shows that are good are ones. 
And even 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 in my even in my Sorry, man. I, I, I don't agree, but even in my <laughs> oh, that's a I, mean, I, I what do you mean you don't your wife's I mean, not more wife's, attracted uh, than you are? She's absolutely more attracted that's than you. That's what I'm saying. I'll kick my coverage. You I'll kick your like, coverage. No, because I'm pretty attracted too. Okay, all so. right. This is a different this is for a different <laughs> right. podcast. Well, we see Matt walking to the church to see the guilty <laughs> remnants changing the sign. I had even typed it. I put Angry Matt walks to the church increasing. to see dot dot dot. And then I was waiting for it. The guilty remnants changing the sign and painting the windows white, and they are throwing away all the Bibles. I'm sorry. And I thought they were going to burn them. They're just throwing them away. I th- not, yeah. I, dude, I was like total Nazi book burning yeah, thing going on right now. Throw them away. They I told her. To I just thought shit. she was going to walk it out and start tossing them yeah. into the uh, into a fire. We see it's Patty working the sign, taking the stuff off of there, and that's uh, right. But that was their plan all along. Why are you breathing, Evan? Because it was how he was looking at her. Yeah, that's creepy. He had his mouth all clenched up, and he was. Well, yeah, because he realized he got fucked. It's his family church, man. It's his family church. Do you think they set up the whole rock throwing incident? I don't know because you don't actually see what I thought about to be that. Able to but hit you don't him with the rock, so you can't he wouldn't see be able what the to come kid's with the wearing. Money. You can't see what the kid that threw it was wearing. Yeah, but it's, they could have just changed clothes just for the. Well, I would say first of all that the kid was not a guilty remnant. No, and it, they don't seem to be the type that work with outside factions. No, they wouldn't do that. But I'm saying like it was them. I'm sorry. Why do they smoke with, again? Like, to make it look like to proclaim their faith, okay. not because they enjoy it. Right. They like because the point is, there's nothing fucking. It doesn't. Nothing matters. So you may as well fucking. Smoke. What I'm saying is, is like they Thanks. they planned that whole thing. They followed him after he won the money. Because they then, planned no, that they whole didn't rock throwing the incident. They, oh, they, they were the ones the that hit there. him with the rock to knock him out, so he couldn't go. It's interesting that go, they're uh, an LLC, though. They're an actual limited liability company. Corporation. Be- corporation, but, but yeah. They didn't, I don't think that they had one iota to do with the Jeep. Okay. Nobody else okay. is going to take yeah. a rock to the face from a teenager, basically, or a, you know, a 20-something That's that just whips at. it at them and then also comes back and throws it. They're, they wouldn't plan that. That's Imagine how much paper they would have to go through to yeah. write that whole plan out to those people. They don't talk. <laughs> what do you mean? Of well, course. Typing, they could have typed it out. Well, not even that. She writes like That's three computers. things down that and then throws a whole notebook at Lori. We haven't seen him. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a computer car. at one point yeah. where Lori slammed the computer shut on her or Patty did. She was using the computer. Yeah, when they she used, said, I want to go. I don't understand why they don't walk around with fucking iPhones and text each other. It seems like it would be easier. Yeah, just write it on there and hold it up. Yeah. Right. Just scribble it real quick. And how much money do these white people got, man, to have $135,000? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why do they got to be white people? Because they wear all white. The Fair guilty enough. remnant, the GR. You know who else did? One. Who's that? Right. The KKK. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any final the only thing the GR is missing So then how does the episode end exactly? Hats. What's up? How does the end episode end exactly? Tell me again. Just a fade right out. Right there. I think that's that it ended ends. with Patty turning around and revealing that she was the one. Yeah. So when he, told, when he told them, tell Patty she's wasting her time. Patty wasn't wasting her time. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm telling you, man. Patty was. Patty knew exactly what she was doing. That was their plan from the beginning to d- either to distract him with that just enough, so that he wouldn't. I don't think there's any way they could have predicted that he would be out that early in the morning or whenever it was because it felt like it was pretty early still. There wasn't a whole lot else going on on the they road. They were following him everywhere. How do you know they didn't follow him to the casino? Uh, do they seem to they ever have vehicles? they follow him everywhere, though. Have you seen a guilty remnant in a vehicle yet? No, yeah, they, they all got walked. in vehicles when they went in the oh, first the episode. Vans. Yeah, but that was different, though. Other than that, they've always walked. Like, as Lori as and the other town. chick didn't, like, hop in a car and take off. I mean, but you, that car could have been parked on the street. Okay, well, they, and you, they could fly in helicopters. There we go, two boats right. and a helicopter. They came in where a did helicopter. The, okay, so we're at the end of the episode. Did we come across, yeah, other no, than the birds, the two birds? Quick query. Is Atlantic City a boat? No. Casino or is it a no? It's no. a like a it's a boardwalk that's what Boardwalk type Empire thing. is about. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. It's Atlantic City, but mm. so yeah. It gives, so it, what do we come out to, of this one feeling? Like what what new questions we got here? I feel like were the, they, I, was he cheating? Was Garvey cheating? Was yeah, that's Lori a, cheating? That's a HBO was it with sex Matt? Triangle. I still roll my yeah. eyes at that. It's, that's, he's definitely not fucking her. Okay. Um, I'm so happy I guess we to be know wrong. what kind of guys Joel finds attractive. Well, of I mean, course. I mean, like, I mean Garvey's not more attractive objectively than Matt. But he's banging all kinds of other chicks because you don't he know is that. the hottest cop in town. You're basing that on speculation. I'm basing it you don't on have any the girl fact telling on that. Lori that your husband the hottest cop in town. Somebody she said, said the that hot to her. cop. The hot cop. Because yeah. he was a cop and she thought he was hot. So how does that make... She's not fucking him. She was, ba- she was with is. her... 
You don't. That's total speculation. Is all Absolutely, I'm saying. Absolutely. Yeah. Based on any fact that we've been given, I, I just don't think that they're fucking. I don't, we haven't seen it yet. If they prove it to me, I'm all in. Yeah. I'm I'm happy to backpedal. But I feel like oh, those were red herrings. I, I've watched Lost too many times. I feel like they have to be changing things up and not always doing what. But it's I've not been trained lost. to pull out of a, a scene. I know, so I'm going the opposite direction. Right. I'm going somewhere else with it. I think I it was don't ju- think that they were trying to be like I said the first time I watched it. I thought he was having sex with his wife. But and I took the second they were doing time that I because watched she it, disappeared. Yeah. Was he was cheating but on his wife? But you knew when she disappeared. that she, his wife was alive in the second viewing. Is what I'm saying. But the and, first time you watched it, you thought he was fucking. You may have thought he was fucking somebody else. Uh, only because no, oh his wife's gone. I said gone. I thought he was fucking no. his wife. Oh, okay, well then, beca- then it the was like holy I shit, she disappeared. But because we thought she disappeared at that point, we didn't know she was still around. When you have that information that she's still there, it's easier to formulate that opinion. I guess. Nah, the first time I saw it, I was like, wow. Jenna was sitting there. His wa- he was because you thought she wife. disappeared, though. Yeah, but he because was cheating on her. With, he was cheating on her, and she disappeared. I know. That's what I thought. But you, that's what I'm saying. You thought she disappeared. Once yeah. you had the information that she didn't disappear, when you rewatch it, do you think that it? changes that at all? I it, I'd be interested to, to see what I color her like hair said, was. It was weird because the second time I watched it is when Jenna said that. But that was the first time she'd watched it. Yeah. yeah. So at that point, she didn't know the wife was there either. But she immediately said he was cheating on his wife. Yeah. He but I'm, I'm thinking her logic there was because he would have been fucking somebody that disappeared or, you know what I mean, something along those lines. Like, because she the wife wasn't there. She just there. She said that. Yeah. She's, mm-hmm. she's cheating on his wife. And I was, and I just went, oh! For some reason, that makes a whole hell of a lot more sense. Yep. I don't it know could. why. It could. It could also be a reason why he was a little cagey about saying what he was really doing because he said he was at the hospital, or he yeah. was cleaning the gutters, cleaning the gutters. So yeah, the splendor. Or he could have been fucking somebody else, and that person could have actually disappeared. Yeah, he could have been cheating so, on his wife. He and never the got girl caught he because fucking, that fucking bitch disappeared. That's why he takes bottles. Of, that's a good <laughs> one, guy. That's why he takes those bottles of pills to sleep. The guy's on massive amounts of drugs, Dude, the, man. One, the, the, yeah. the, the woman he I mean. was cheating on his wife with is gone. just poofed that's, while he was fucking her. If it's not his wife, that would be cool. So that's yeah. why he's all fucking... That's why he's all whacked out. Uh, weirded out. Yeah. I mean, yeah, as we discussed on the first one, if you were fucking somebody and then they disappeared... Where did his nut go? They, well, who, who says he finished? I, I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> what if he was like seven pumps away from finishing as opposed to like... What if he, what if he uh, went ahead and finished it? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> what do you do? You look down on the bed and you see the person you were just having sex with is gone. Do you finish? Well, you think... You think, you think? But do you think you would, your hard-on would Dude, go away right do away? Dude, how do you even con- yeah. conceive that? How do you even like... It depends if it. the hard on sticks around and finish the job. Even if we if were just like standing here talking to somebody and they just disappeared in front of your <laughs> eyes, how do you fucking take that? How do you deal with that? I don't know, man. I get an erection if the wind blows right. <laughs> Me too. But yeah, I, mean, I mean, what the fuck? So I don't. It doesn't, I yeah, mean, but if you're really doing that, and something like that happens, I'm not talking trying to be about, funny. Like, how do you handle that? Like, I mean, put yourself you, in those shoes. Like, you if you were just out. talking to me and you I just freak out and disappeared, like, what the fuck would you do? What would you do? Probably end the podcast. Like. How would you take that? How would you I would like, probably what the hell? go see if you had any Transformers. Um, tell Jenna you sent me over there. Uh, see, you know, maybe snag a couple Skylanders okay, and then be good. like, your husband disappeared. See you later. Goodbye, people. Yep. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll have a theme song and a logo, and hopefully some week. more people, uh, uh, more famous people. Yeah, that'd be nice week. if we could get some more famous people to be disappeared. But you, hold on, I thought after watching The Wire, I was really look. This is the third episode. And you know how I feel about HBO and their third episodes okay. of their seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really thought that this was going to be the one that got me hooked, like it had it, it did in The Wire. Okay. But I'm still not hooked 100. percent You don't care about the people. You don't want to find out some of the I mysteries, do. whether we get I do, it or not. I do, but not like I'm going to be like, hey, dude, let's sit down and watch I got seven it, episodes man. of The Wire. Like. Most of the reason that I am hooked on the show is because of this. Because See, we're discussing because it. Of because the podcast. of the podcast. Yeah, but I can't say that if it was just way. just yeah. just watching okay, it, then I'd be watch, so into it. If you got to watch the whole season at once, like on Netflix, this wouldn't be as good of a show because you wouldn't have the opportunity to sit down and discuss things that we don't know yet. If we don't discuss, that, and that's yeah. great. And Unfortunately, like, it's a and book dude, thing listen, again. We're only three. But, we're, all, we're, we're and that's great that we're only three episodes in. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not ready to just fucking write it off. I'm not interested at all. Don't get me. I, I'm interested. No, I'm in not it. saying that. But, but I want to say mostly because of this. Hopefully, it turns out 
I think it's going to get a lot more exciting. I really do. I, I just think it's it's going to be a slow start. I'm curious to see where it's it going to go, go, man. I, I do. I, I I like the show. I enjoy. I don't it. think I don't think it's an action series. But like, dude, I mean, no, it's like Game but of is Thrones. it a drama? Is it sci-fi? Like, I that's wasn't what I'm curious looking for action going. sequences. That's not what no. I'm talking. Well, about. Well, you said get more exciting, so that made me think of like stuff happening like that. More well, I mean, well, I know you know it's going to be a little. It's got to get more fast-paced, man. It has but this to episode was different than the with the pace and like the. I don't know, like, I want to say, like, the melodrama was different than the other two episodes, don't you think? It was a like, more this, so far, this one's, character-centric yeah, episode. Yeah, this one's way different, But man. see, now, if you look at this one and then look at last week's... Yeah, but last week's was, too, now, in retrospect. In retrospect, yeah. was more character-centric on, on Kevin Garvey. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, okay, who knows? Who, 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 hopefully, we'll get somebody new next week. And uh, See, and that's going to tell us what, if, this, if that's the structure the show is going to take or not. I bet is you it? they throw us off next week and do an ensemble show. And do an ensemble episode. Yeah. Just to, so, so Lindelof can't be like, ah. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, he's always doing character right. centric. So, you, so he'll, he'll do it just so you can't. Poor guy, quiet. I yeah. fucking feel for the guy. He's getting so much scrutiny. He'll he'll, for, he'll forever get scrutiny for the ending of Lost. People will forever unjustly batter berate him as if he owed them something. And he's gonna. <laughs> he fucking does. He did a great job on it. I just want to say, if you're listening, Damon Lindelof, you did fucking amazing. Yeah, Lost was fucking awesome. You did a great job, pal. You have nothing to worry about and don't feel ashamed about it. See you guys later. All these memories in my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind. I'm still a secret lemonade drinker.